hello welcome to my channel I'm Pete from Petri Astro Collectibles if you haven't watched me before if you have hello this is Monday um, it's Monday morning I saw some stuff over the weekend well between Saturday lunchtime and Monday morning and actually this one which I'll show you in a bit was this morning so I'll show you these and then I'll show you what I bought yesterday so it's like a weekly out, what's going out on Monday update and then what I bought yesterday update of you know the two car books I went to so here we go first things I'll do them in the order I sold them and then I'll know I've done it right Dunn Coleman I've shown these when I picked them up these went for 30 pounds in the end I bought them for five they're proper teak made in wood not plastic Dunkelmans with springs in these are brass and wood and yeah very nice went for 30 pound plus postage which is four pounds so 34 pounds and um, I originally had them up for 52.99 but uh, I dropped them and then dropped them again sent offers out at 38.99 and somebody sent me an offer for 30 so I just say you know cost me five had them for a few months definitely worth something um, brother phoned me up about a remote control um, that he'd lost so I went through all my big pile of well two bagfuls of remote controls that are all like um, untested and scrabby and dirty and I found a Philips but it wasn't the right one but it did have a back on it, so I tested it, it worked, cleaned it, put it on eBay, sold in a couple of days, um, 5 95 plus postage, which is a tenner. Um, yeah, 20 pence into £10. It's not really 20 pence, because I bought the whole pile at 20 pence each. That doesn't equate to 20 pence until I've sold the whole pile. So I bought... Oh, I bought £20 worth. At 20 pence which is what I've got on average in there so they, they cost about 20 pence two big bagfuls next was a, a Le Creuset wine pump set what you do is you put little rubber socket things into the top of your wine pump the air out to make it last longer um, it's made by Le Creuset it's metal so it went for 20 quid um, it's new in the box uh, unused so it was in my charity shop for five pound, my local one. So twenty pound. Um, bought two lightsabers for a pound. This is one of them. It's one of those ones which makes noises. Um, blade builders, I believe they're called. It's the blue Anakin Skywalker version. Um, that's all you can say about it, really. It's got no batteries in. It'll go by Hermes because it's too long for a round mill. Um, grow clock. It's about the fourth one I've sold this month. Uh, it says number two, but that's because I started with number one because I had two to sell at the time. Now I've got zero, but I have these two from last week, which I'm going to list today. They're on the side, ready to be listed. And I bought another one on Thursday for two pound fifty. No, Friday. I might show you what I bought on Friday, but I think it was that and a couple of other little pieces. I'll probably show you them anyway. Um, and I got a Skybox for... You know, last week I said I hadn't been able to sell a Skybox in months. There you go. <laughs> you never know, do you? So this one went for $15.95 plus $7.99 postage. It might be $5.99 postage. I'm not certain. It could be $7.99, could be $5.99. Um, Either way, so it's either 23 or 25 pound. So it's not too bad considering it's about two pounds worth, maybe two pound fifties worth of gear in there. There is a remote, 50 pence to me. There's a power supply, 50 pence to me. Then there's the bit of bubble wrap. Yeah, maybe two pound fifty. So for 15 pound, it's not too bad. And then to this morning, I've bought, sold my uh, Let Them Swing. See that? Let them swing boob mug. It's only a novelty, and I'm hoping that the people who buy it 
see that it is and not try to drink out of it because it, it it's pretty fragile it's that thin biscuit type um pottery anyway 20 pound 19.95 plus three pound 95 so that's 24 pounds we'll go on the average for that it could be 23 25 so we'll go with 24 on that so that's 48 um that was 16 including postage so that's uh, 60 uh, Four, 64 um, this was 9 so plus postage so 14 that's 78 this was 24 with postage that's uh, 102 and that was 10 112 this was 34 so that's uh, 148 pounds in the one two three four five six seven so that's uh, £20.50 each which is an improvement on 17 to 19 pounds which is what I've been going for not much of one but that's what I'm aiming for average of over 20 I'd like it to be 25 right I'll push those to the side well no I'm gonna wrap those because it's still morning and I can get them out to the post office before I do the rest and then I'll do the rest of the video and just chunk the two halves together I said that to you till I get a new desktop I am not messing about with special graphics I will do a summary at the end um, of what I've picked up on prices and stuff there Billy there you go right see you in a bit hello I'm back right I've zoomed in a, just a little touch move the camera just a little bit so you don't get the the, the blank wall of my garage door so um, this is what I picked up Everything I picked up this week because I'll show you what I bought at the charity shops as well. Um, the reason being is when you've been sitting in listing things or just literally only been to the post office all week apart from the charity shop next three doors up long um, and the supermarket to get some food and uh, it comes to Friday afternoon and you're bored shitless. Yeah. So I went to... A couple of charity shops uh, in towns a bit further along from me sort of uh, I think it's about 16 mile round trip three three town sort of towny villages they're all classed as villages but they're all sort of attached to Hull but I didn't go any further into Hull just did the West Hull villages so I'll show you what I got and then I'll show you what I got at my local charity shop on the Saturday and then we'll do Sunday. So first things first, I didn't spend a lot, despite going around three villages, because sometimes there just isn't anything, or anything that's gonna be resellable, you know. Um, first things first, I did get some kids' books, or rather vintage children's books that probably wouldn't be allowed to sell to children anymore. This is, um, it's sad, but the the work brigade have uh, started altering all sorts of books um, there's only recently <coughs> been reports of Roald Dahl being altered so Asterix these are all 10 pence each or oh, 10 for a pound rather they weren't willing to give you 10 pence each it's 10 for a pound so Asterix and Cleopatra Asterix in Switzerland I'm not sure whether those have been uh, edited um, yet they're probably on the list. These definitely have Roald Dahl, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator, 10 pH. Um, <coughs> that's the rest of them on the floor. I'll edit that out. Enid Blyton's Everyday Book of Twilight Stories. Now this would scare children, despite the fact that the pictures are very nice. Um, but yeah, you know, what can I say? People are, uh, I'm not going to go into that. And we have Rupert the Bear from, this is the 50th anniversary, Christmas 1985. And it is dedicated to somebody, which at this age, you can't, you know, can't really avoid that at that sort of age. Then we've got Beano Book of 
had to get them in the right order. Uh, been a book of 1993. Uh, been a book of 1993, sorry. Been a book of 1994. Been a book of 1997. Been a book of 1998. Those are... Uh, Four Beano annuals, as I say, ten pence each. They're going for like three and four quid delivered. So I'm thinking of bundle the four together. Um, and obviously the, the roll dowel books will go together. Um, there may be people looking to buy those now because yeah, the latest reports are that they've changed whole passages from roll dowel and a lot of the uh, descriptive words so that it's not his words anymore. Um, the Asterix ones will go together, and those two, uh, Rupert the Bear might just wait for a, another bundle, I don't know yet. I'll just put these out of a shot. There we go. Yeah, um, most of the stuff's right in front of me. So, that was a pound, and then I got five DVDs for a pound, just to watch, because I've stopped using my streaming services. Not that I was finding I wasn't watching them. It's not that I can't afford it. It's just, it's, you don't get value out of it if you're not watching them. So, got rid of them. And then I got a, another grow clock, which I have tested. So I've got three now to list later on, which is a lot easier to list than one. No, you list one, that's easy. I've actually got a listing already done um, because I just sold one. And it's just a matter of photographing the three different ones in three different numbers. Right, that was uh, Friday. And Saturday, after I dropped some posts off at the post office, I went to the local charity shop and I saw this guy in the window, Gonzo, and he's got a Disney patch on his foot so it's a genuine article very nice nice and clean um, I don't know whether he's got a specific name for being a gonzo with a, a sweater on and trousers but uh, yeah nice um, he was £2.50 they're selling for about £12 so that's nice um, and then I got some of these uh, £1.45 each when I say each there's six of them all different which is nice um, mushroom I'll just uh, bubble wrap them so that I can uh, swing them in this bag that you can't see oxtail Clinky there. Chicken soup. All 145. These prices for these for um, Scotch broth are all over the place. People are selling them as little as £12 for six and as, as much as £30 plus postage. I think I'll go with something like £24 plus postage, which because they're weighty, we'll come to about £30 anyway. Oh, last one was tomato. Unfortunately, no mulligatoni. Mulligatoni, if you see it, there's the bolo. They're about £20. Because they're the rare ones. Anyway, six at £1.45 each is £8.70. Uh, and yeah. £25 plus postage, maybe £24 plus postage, depending on. I've got a feeling they're over two kilos, even before they um, put in a box. So, yeah, £23, £24 after the fees is about 19 So, £10 or so profit. It's a fairly easy listing anyway, that's something. And the Gonzo guy. He'll make me £10 as well. 
maybe only eight, maybe nine, something like that. Right, that brings me to, oh, I'll just jump Sunday and tell you what I bought at the local shop uh, today, because it's easy. This guy, Batman. Batman Lego mini figure alarm clock, £2.50. I've put the batteries in and I will take them out before I sell it because you're not really meant to leave batteries in in the post. And the are uh, my rechargeables. So like £1.50 each or £2 or whatever it is for two little double A's. I wouldn't be leaving those in there. Right, we jump back to Sunday now. I've got my local charity shop. My local car boot right in front of me and then the um the other car boot easy as that two car boots um every sunday it's two car boots for me today i'm going to show you what i bought yesterday right first things first this i'll take a step back radio cassette player from Amstrad it's just the box obviously but it does have polystyrene in it which is nice and it holds this clean tidy it has been used but it's really nice really nice um, no dust no nothing a few little marks there Can you see those little marks there well, I might be able to get them out, but it looks like it's a little bit of wear in the finish on the sort of matte finish, and it's got a bit shiny. There isn't a lot you can do about that. Uh, there we go. It even has that soft opening style cassette player. No window, which is weird, but normally there's a window to show the cassette going around. Anyway, it works fine. Tested it. Um, it's got a power lead. It does have space for six double, no, sorry, six D's, D cells. But um, although I have D cells, I'm not going to test that. I'm sure it'll work fine if it works for the uh, power cable. Um, I'll put that down there. Just so I've got some more room to work with. Oh, by the way, on Friday, those other things, I did also get a double, uh, double audio book, that's the word, in CDs, and that was 50p. So that's a good start. Um, I bought a roll of sticky back plastic, which has got marbling on. It's actually rather dirty on the inside. All the paper that it's stuck to has gone mouldy. Now, you know, as a grown adult, I'm not so bad with that, but I won't want it around any kids or anything. So I won't be selling it. I'll use it for myself, stick it onto some cardboard or hardboard, use it as a background with photo, photographs and stuff. Um, that was 50 pence. And I know that a roll like that's about a tenner. Sold and delivered on eBay anyway. Um, next. Uh, Sony, sorry, it's got a SCART, it's a Sony DVP SR170, I don't know whether you can see that, is that too close? Uh, DVP means uh, digital video player but it's also DVD, I don't know why they don't call them DVD 170, anyway and a remote, that one cost a pound, I've um, plugged it in it is rather dirty, but it does play. I mean, it does turn on. I haven't actually played it through the TV yet, but I will. I'll stick that on there as well. Uh, and it should be fine. That should be fine. Um, four of these. One, two, three, four. Done really well with teak balls lately. I did have some that aren't teak, and they are a bit slower. That are turned with like um, multiple different woods in. I've got two of those and they haven't sold but the teak ones especially the ones with brand names on like that impressed onto the base 
they seem to do really well. It says Alatics End Maid. The other one says Galatics. Galatics. I don't know whether that's a decent brand. Bear Matik. Um, made in England. So, made in England from Bear Matik. And there's a, a sort of Indian elephant on the stamp. That one's really not very clear. And neither is that. But if they're branded, if there's a popularity with it, then you know I don't know exactly, but um, I've I've seen go, them going for like four or five pound each. I haven't looked at the brand of Galatics, so that might be something to research. Um, I got an iPad. Um, don't know whether it works or not. I haven't got a charger. Um, came without cables. It's got a lovely screen, no scratching on at all. Uh, the back's a bit scratched. But you can sell these for parts to people who take them apart because they've got things like, um, you know, they need the parts for ones that have gone wrong. Well, this might have gone wrong, I don't know. And really, I don't care. I got it for a fiver. And I'd probably be looking for 15 to 20 pounds. I'm not sure. Um, as I say, the screen's lovely. Um, it's 16 gigs, so it's got memory, battery, uh, a charging circuit, the screen. They won't have all gone wrong, so somebody would buy that for parts. Um, somebody who's a repairer, you know. And then I got one of these. Colour changing salt lamp, and that cost three pounds, which I think that's a bit of a fail, quite honestly. It's a nice looking lamp, but it's only USB, and they're selling for like eight or ten pound delivered um, on eBay. Or it might be eight or ten pound plus delivery, I don't know. Um, so the most I'm gonna likely to get is seven or eight pounds plus postage. So yeah, and it is second hand, don't forget. And you know, I don't think anybody's going to. Um, classify this as vintage so such is life um, I think I should have only paid a couple of quid for it three quid two quid it's like a quid less and you could say oh you're just making a quid less it's not a big deal but it it's the profit margin for the amount of money you invest isn't it right then um, that was the end of uh, North Cave and I went to Hull so First things first, uh, first thing I saw was this microwave browning dish, Vision, I saw loads of these last year, I've actually got one in stock which is a square one, um, there's the instruction manual, this is a round one, 24 centimetres needs a clean um, but very clean underneath no marks um, there is some marks and you know dirt from food and that's dirty as well I'll give it a right good well, I'll put it through the dishwasher and then I'll give it a polish if it's still not shiny enough and uh, it should be fine that that cost uh, Three pounds or two pounds? Two pounds that one. Nice. And um, well, the instruction, the, the price on it from ASDA is on the top, seventeen ninety nine, and that's what I've been selling them for. You know, twenty years later, selling them for what they were brand new for uh, when they were new. Not bad at all. Right. Um, next was this. I won't get it out of the box. Philips tanning lamp. There you go. Quite big. I sold these before and I saw it on the guy's stall and he had it open. The back comes off of this. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll show you because it, it's not a particularly nice box. And it, it, although I will be preserving the box, I'll probably tape it up as well. Um, looks like that. Four tubes. 
a timer on the side. I plugged it in, works fine. Got the manual. Um, these are going from anywhere from £50 to £80 and in a really nice box, possibly £100. Uh, this box is falling apart like I showed you, so probably 60 I'll put it up at 80 and see what happens. Um, that cost eight. Um, I knew it was good value when I saw it, because even with the tubes, you can buy the tubes brand new to refit it if it doesn't work. Uh, and really, there is only a timer. The, um, what do they call it? ballast and the tubes and that's it really in those um, there isn't a great deal to them at all there's a little um, pair of uh, sun goggles for when you're not tanning um, it's similar sort of size to the thing I got last week for SAD seasonal affective disorder but it's worth a lot more um, right this I saw this on a guy's stall. He didn't know what it was. I know what it was. As soon as I saw it, I knew what it was. Um, ah, this sort of silver box. You take that out, and there's a sort of piston thing. It's got a spring in it as well. It's a rack and pinion hydraulic piston inside, and then you you. You sort of punch out the hole, whichever side you want this to fit. Fit this on the door. And then there's sort of a sliding arm that comes off this that's on the door into a sliding slot that fits on the door. You wouldn't believe how much these are when you buy them industrially from a fitter. £383 plus VAT. I am, I am not kidding you. Now there's people selling for a lot less than that on eBay. Um, this is a good one and it's the type that you can have electro hold out with you have to buy the electric bit that fits into it. There's a sort of accessory that fits into it. Or you can buy an arm with a manual clip that holds it out as well. Those are about 40 or 50 quid, the manual ones. The electric ones like 100 quid for a switch and a piece of wire. <laughs> I kid you not. Don't forget, £474 including VAT. £383 those, cost me four. I'm not going to try for £385. I'm not even going to try for half of that. I'm going to try, try for 100 plus any offers over 50 or 60 quid. And I'll probably sell it for that sort of money, 50, 60 quid. Um, because, as I say, you can buy ones from 25 pound up that do the same thing. But these are the ones that are uh, like, you know, all the government schemes have and hospitals and things like that. Industrial firms that have to have ISO 9000 and whatever it is these days. Um, yeah, I've got a feeling there's no way I'll get more than 50, 60 quid for it. But from £4, that's not bad. If I was to get 40 I'd be really happy. Um, yeah. Next. One of these. It's like plug and play. I've just tested it. I thought I'd better test it before I filmed. There you go. Little joystick, three buttons. It's Jack specific, as that, as that matters. Um, and it's uh, a Capcom version. And there is a slot for more games. But you get three. You get Commando, Ghosts and Goblins, which is a levels game. Commando is like a shoot 'em up, but it's top down. And 1942, which is a top down shoot 'em up, but you're in a plane. Um, that costs three pounds. Should go for 15. Yeah. Uh, next comes a guy from uh, the guy I bought the hard drive for from from for a pound last week. He's still got all the same boxes and stuff. So I had a route about in those and I came up with 
um, a camera battery. I've charged it. I'm not sure whether it's bulging at all. There's sort of a millimetres worth of bulge on it. Um, I will see if it's still holding a charge. I charged it up last night. If it's not holding a charge, it's a throw out. Or rather, dispose of carefully. Don't throw away batteries. I dispose of them carefully. And then I got this as well. Um, I put new batteries in this. Oh no, I haven't. It's got the 9 volt battery it started with. A little green thing with a black bottom. But I was surprised to see the word Yamaha. It's got nothing to do with motorbikes. It's to do with music. Uh, let me just uh, turn it on for you. You see the little light flashing? There's two different types of beats. That's quite a slow one. It's an electronic metronome. And these are going for up to 30 quid. I'll give it a clean. It definitely needs one. It's working lovely. It's not very loud. Um, that was 50 pence as well, so it was a pound for the two of them. I was quite pleased with that. Um, and then there was another clearance guy. Uh, didn't really want to buy this, but um, I'd committed myself by then. I was expecting to pay a pound or 50 pence because it's got no wire on the back. And when somebody clips the wire off, it normally means they've stopped working and they're getting rid of it and it's gone down the tip. Well, I'm thinking he's rescued this when somebody's put it next to the bloody box for the tip. Rather than sending it to the tip, he's trying to sell it at the car boot. Well, good luck to him. You know what I'm saying? I was expecting to pay 50p a pound. He wanted a fiver straight off. And I'm like, no, no way. There's no wire on the back. It's not working. And he's like, oh, yeah, it was working, but my mate clipped off the wire because he collects all the wires. I'm like, no, you've gone and got it from a, a scrap, a scrap um, skip. I'm fine with that, but I'm not paying you fiver for something you've picked out of a skip. Um, anyway, we agreed on three pounds in the end. The reason I got it is because it's a Goodman's CD and mini disc player. These are going for £110. Um, so I will open the back, solder in a wire um, and see if it works at all. If it lights up, whether it works or not, I will sell it as for parts. Um, and I'll be looking for 25, 30 quid. If it doesn't light up, I'll still sell it for parts, but I won't be getting for as much. Um, but if it works one side or the other, and it doesn't record between the two, um, there isn't a lot you can do about that. But yeah, 100, 110 quid if it worked. So, you know, had to go for it really, even if it, the guy's making like three quid out of buying it taken out of a skip. Um, next thing I saw was this. Let me just um, get it the position. Actually, no, it's not the next thing I saw, but it's in the order I'm writing it and I'm, I'm reading it out, so we'll go with that. Oh god, this is heavy. This is marble. And it's a marble chest board, obviously. Um, really nice. I've just given it a clean actually, it was very dirty. It'd been it stood it at the side of the um the, the table a couple of times and all the way around the outside was like mud and green off grass and moss and stuff. Um it's a bit the felt's coming off, you know. Um it's you can see the it's like based on I don't know whether it's based on a, a single piece of marble and then painted over or the actual bits are actually different tiles it's hard to say but the surface is nice now I've cleaned it as I say the back's a bit oh god a bit crap with the green so if you remember the video I made before Christmas if not you can well you're welcome to go and have a look at it I was listing um, 
paperweights with an uplater on a black background. Well, I've been using the black background, but this is all black felt. There's plenty of it. There's more than twice as much as you need for a background. So I thought, see as it's wider than that, I'll um, redo the back felting with black. Look really nice with this new black felt on. Cut a piece the right size, bit of uh, that spray adhesive and roll it on so it's nice and hard and uh, well fixed. And then I'm thinking it cost me seven, so I'm thinking 40 quid. Um, as I say, it's, it's near enough eight kilos that. Right, so there's that. Uh, then I saw this thing, let me just go out of shot and grab it because it's big and heavy. Right, I didn't actually see this. Um, I was looking at something else on a guy's stall. Anyway, he said to me, oh, you're interested in electrical stuff. I'm like, I've got like a bag full of this other thing and that light. Um, and he said, I said, yeah. So he says, oh, what about this? And it's in a box and it says AVO signal meter. It's got like um, dials, switches, this dial up here and this thing here, as you can see. And as you turn these dials, that spins round, which is great. And he says, oh, it all works. There's a proper plug on it. It did have in the box the old plug. Two pin round plug from before three pin plugs because I'm not sure what the date is but it's old old in fact there's a manual with it in the box it's got all its foam padding it's like um, cardboard fittings with foam pads on them like that with a lid I'll put it back in its box. This is definitely what some engineer in the field would have used to test UHF and VHF signal lines or something. It generates signals, uh, low frequency and regular frequency outputs. There's a there's a dial. You can choose which one you want. There's a manual, a printed manual, and there's a really sort of old vintage looking box. This carton contains a delicate scientific instrument and must be handled carefully. And boxes like this, they really do add to the value of the item. There we go. It goes back on the box. There's a manual. There's a manual as well, but I can't find it right now. And he wanted £15 for it. But, um, I was a bit dithering. I made to say I'll go and I'll drop all the other stuff at the shop, at the house, at the car. Yeah, the car, because we're in a field. Um, and I'll come back. And he said, Well, why don't you buy it now for a tenner before I leave? And I'm like, Okay, I'll buy it now and I'll come back and pick it up there. So anyway, I came back, picked it up, and I looked at other things on his stall as well. And I bought these. Um, this is an Xbox 360 stand with a charger for the remote and a power battery. I'm sure that's flat as anything now. And a media remote. All brand new in the pack. Um, and there's another one from a different brand. It, just with the remote and the stand for a pound. Those were a pound. Um, I only bought those because I saw this and they were next to it. And he's like, do you want those each for a pound as well? Because he only charged me a pound for this. This is for a PlayStation 2 Slim. Um, it goes on vertically, like so. So this is the base. PS2 Slim slots in like that and slots into that power supply there. Then you can put the power supply into the slot there and the base lights up blue LEDs um, these are 
sought after but unavailable anywhere and obviously as you can see it's brand new and sealed so I'm going to look for 20 quid on that the other PS2 slim stand that I had with a remote control didn't have any lighting on it had a remote control and four slots so it was a multi-tap well this doesn't have that um, that I got last year for £1.50 and I was saying I'll bundle it with a PS2 if it's not worth anything well I got 22 quid for it yeah so I'm gonna go for 20 quid on that and if anybody makes an offer fair enough it only cost me a quid um, that's those that's that marble chessboard £60.50 on Sunday and so £2.50 today £60.50 on Sunday £11.20 including the mugs and the gonzo and £5 on Friday so that's 5 16 £17 £79.50 this week I've spent that's all I haven't got a clue what those kid books are going to go for the DVDs are for me because I'm not paying for streaming anymore uh, the audio book I might give it a listen but I, I doubt it Harlan Coble books I've read them most of them anyway the grow clock that'll go for 12.99 I know that's what they go for because I sold two this week um, right I've got a a rundown of the prices I'm thinking of selling these items for the radio cassette I've put 25 on it it's working perfectly but it's an Amstrad uh, the cassette works but it's an Amstrad and um, it's in its box but it's an Amstrad the sticky back plastic is not for resale the Sony DVD player will go for 12 quid plus postage um, maybe 15 pound including postage that's all but that's fine, uh, it cost me a quid, that's assuming it works, they're, they're pretty much, you know, the draw comes out, so, you know, the electrics are really working. The Apple iPlayer, 15 to 20 quid, the Teak Bulls, I've put 15 on them, there's four, so, yeah, that seems reasonable. The USB colour changing salt lamp, I've put £8 on, cost three. So there's not a lot of margin in there, it was a fail really. The Philips Studio Facial Lamp, I've put 80. But if I get an offer this anything over 50, 60 quid, I might just take that. The Abloy Door Asa Abloy Door Closer Industrial, I've put 100 quid on it. But as I said to you, anywhere near or even half that is straight out of the door. The Jack Specific, £15, and I'll stick to that solidly. Um, the Yamaha Metronome, I've put 25 on it. I'll put it up for 30 and, you know, take offers. Um, Goodman's MD CD player, scrap I've got here, parts. Um, I've put 20 to 60 quid. Could be anything in between. The Marble Chessboard, I've put 40 on. It was 7 the PS2 glow stand I've put 20 on the other two stands I've got written down as £10 between them well, I think that's reasonable for Xbox 360 Vision Microwave I've put £18 on it so yeah not bad good week in fact um, having spent only 70 or was it 80 odd quid 79 quid or something um, I should get that back or at least I'd try and get that back on just this thing alone and the rest is gravy you know so now I'm going to start listing these things wish me luck this is uh, at least the way I'm going two to three days listings um, and then I'm back on my back, backlog again me back here uh, stock and i've got plenty of that right thanks for watching goodbye oh thumbs ups you know i i, I don't, I don't want to be pestering people